Breaking news. Uh, yes, we do. Look at um, this. Have you guys heard this? This just now broke. The New York Times. Like, this is this, this actually because a lot of people will say, like, something's breaking news and they'll put that banner down there. Oh, and it's like, and a, it'll be it's a like, collapse. the sun came up. The sun yeah. came up yesterday, developing. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's, it's now, a it's now going higher in the sky. This okay. is actually breaking news right okay. here. See that right there? Yeah. This just, New York Times just broke this, Willie. So this is yeah. not the sun's. Just come up. No, this breaking is real. Okay. This is real breaking news. It's tired. At this hour. Right. At this hour. The New York Times <laughs> is reporting that Attorney General Loretta Lynch plans to announce that she will accept whatever recommendation career prosecutors and FBI Director James Comey make about whether to bring charges related to Hillary Clinton's private email server. The paper says her decision removes the possibility that a political appointee will overrule investigators in the case. This development comes after criticism around the attorney general's meeting with former President Bill Clinton on board her plane at a Phoenix airport earlier this week, raising questions about what the two may have discussed. After months of the Justice Department investigating the presumptive Democrat nominee's use of a private server while Secretary of State. Here's the Attorney General defending her 30-minute conversation with the former President. Our conversation was uh, a great deal about his grandchildren. Uh, it was primarily social and about our travels. He mentioned the golf he played in Phoenix and he mentioned travels he had had to West Virginia. We talked about um, um, a former Attorney General Janet Reno, for example, uh, whom we both know. Uh, but there was no discussion of any matter pending before the department or any matter um, pending before any other body. There was no discussion of Benghazi, no discussion of the State Department emails by way of example. Okay, so um, anyway, Mark Halpern, what's interesting about this is. Yeah. Um, not only did Republicans come out and, and criticize her for what she did, but a good number of Democrats did as well. Publicly and privately, Democrats were just rolling their eyes. Well, just no, she's not, not saying partisan. she's recusing herself. She's basically saying, I'll, I'll follow the, the, and, the, and, the and, career prosecutors. But By the way, David Axelrod uh, tweeting, uh, I take Loretta Lynch and Bill Clinton at their word. Uh, in the conversation, Phoenix didn't touch on it, but foolish. Foolish, but... I got to say, this is this doesn't really fix the problem for people who are suspicious of the meeting, because she's still the head of the Justice Department. She probably should have she probably should have taken this step before. And the other thing is, she didn't admit it was a mistake, and the White House didn't admit it was a mistake. And this is an implicit admission that it was an error. But I will tell you this: this is actually Willie Geist and Les Loretta Lynch already knows something. From, uh, coming out of the FBI, this is bad news for the Clintons because Rudy Giuliani worked with Comey and said very early on in the process, and I asked him off, off the set, is, is this guy a straight shooter? He goes, oh, he's a straight shooter. Yeah. Now, whether the Justice Department will let him go after her if she's broken the laws, he's, but this guy is a straight shooter. So I guarantee you the Clintons did not want to have that political protection removed from them and Jim Comey, because he is. If Comey had wanted to indict and Lynch squelched it, it would have come out that he'd wanted to indict and they right. would have had a huge But problem. guess what? She wouldn't have been indicted. Yeah, all right. So I, 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 well, but, but, Willie? Attorney General Lynch did the right thing yesterday. I yeah. mean, it took her a little while to get there. She didn't do the right thing by taking the meeting with President Clinton. And Mark and I were just talking 30 minutes and playing. That's a long a time to talk about golf and grandchildren. Yeah. No, that wasn't a five and minute run in. That then becomes, you know, coloring. Uh, right. You, you just, you don't have to talk about it to talk about it. We right. know how these things go. Uh, Donald Trump made a New Hampshire campaign. Oh, just, can I talk, let Donnie jump in here really quickly because mm -hmm. I know. At least going back to when RFK ran the Justice Department, if anybody has any questions about the Justice Department, you, you go to Donnie. Uh, so, Donnie, you were. You Pete were Williams and I were talking about this. Yeah, no, but you were shaking your head. Like every Democrat Just, that I talked to yesterday, going, What are you picture doing? Picture Clinton on the plane. Hey, hey, you know, know, the secret password is this. Like, what are you doing? And it just. It, Insanity. It just, and, you know. Look, this is not going to be a deciding factor in this election, obviously, unless she's indicted. But it's just one more thing where people go, what are you doing? Do you guys just play above everybody else? Is there no rules? And as I said, we fill up space. We talk about this. At the end of the day, people care about their pocketbooks and not getting blown up by terrorists. But just stupid. Just absolutely And it stupid. feeds into an existing yes. narrative about the Clintons that the Clintons don't need right now. Just like Donald Trump yesterday, Mika, which is yeah. our next story. 
acted in a way that fed into an existing narrative that scares the hell out of Republicans and swing voters alike. And we'll have more on this Loretta Lynch story. Josh mm -hmm. Ernest spoke about it yesterday. The president ignored it. Donald Trump talked about it. Um, but we'll break back into that. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.